Many visitors to Gettysburg are familiar with the story of Alonzo Cushing, a captain in charge of a battery right at the angle at the high water mark at Gettysburg. His story is well known, wounded, holding back his insides, being propped up by uh, one of his comrades, um, and literally working the gun till the very end, until he was shot and received his fatal wound right at what many people call the climax of the Battle of Gettysburg. And I'm here today with National Civil War Museum CEO Wayne Motts, who has something to tell us about this story. Gary, one of the great pieces we have here in the National Civil War Museum's uh, collection is this officer's belt that belonged to Alonzo H. Cushing. And it actually has his name, if you look really closely, here in it. the belt. And Cushing was uh, born in Wisconsin, but ra raised in Fredonia, New York. He was a graduate of West Point in 1861. And on July 3rd, 1863, he was in charge of, of Battery A, 4th United States Artillery Regiment. And while working those guns, he is mortally wounded, as you mentioned. This belt actually was the one he wore at Gettysburg, and it bears dark stains, which we believe are blood related from the wound that he received while uh, he was there. Just recently, the president uh, put Cushing in for the Medal of Honor and he'll be receiving that very shortly. Good. And um, can we see the other side? Sure. Uh, how, does it, how does it look? It's, a, it's really, it almost looks like Swedish leather. Right. Um, with the standard officer's belt buckle, gilt with the silver wreath. And in beautiful shape, Pretty too. Pretty good shape for its age. Now, Wayne Mouts and I are out at the angle at the climax of Pickett's Charge, right where Alonzo Cushing actually fought. And we're joined by my colleague Sam Smith, and Wayne brought something with him today. Oh, I just think you can't get a better connection to understanding the battle than to have something exactly like this brought on the battlefield. And that's why it's so important what the Civil War Trust does in preserving the land so you can go there and see these spots and experience them. And what we do at the National Civil War Museum, along with a lot of other museums in the country, and preserving the last tangible artifacts of uh, America's uh, most terrific conflict, the Civil War, uh, a lot of connections that you can have here with us. It's a dramatic incident, and here we have the belt actually out where he wore it for the last time. What, why is it important to do something like this, Sam? Oh, well, first, this is incredible. Thank you, Wayne, for bringing this out. And, you know, this is a fella younger than me, and he's in the middle of this, you know, bloody vortex in this vast human disaster, and he's just doing, under immense pressure, in immense pain, doing everything he can to stick to his post and to save his comrades in arms. I mean, if anything needs to be preserved, it's the legacy of people like this, people that stuck to it and did everything they could to save the people around them. Wayne, thank you so much for allowing this treasure to be brought out here today, and thank you for watching.